Santom Academy Welcome to Digital Kaksha To get updates on new videos click the subscribe button and the bell icon Hello everyone so here we are there with a new topic today that is extraction of metals in the previous video we have understood about occurrence of metals that how the metals we are getting from the earth crust we are getting metals as ore ore is that mineral which contain maximum amount of metal in it after getting ore from the earth crust we used to do so many processes for its extraction or its purification now the first step is concentration of ores gang removal gang means the impurities like sand stones or the impurity which is in solid form can easily be removed such type of impurities are being removed and that method is called as concentration of ore means when the earth part is being taken out from the earth crust then the part that part is made free from soil sand dust and the particles which can be easily removed in a solid form some methods are gravity separation method this method we used to have when we used to clear the stones from the wheat when the wheat comes at the home the stones are being removed out by picking from the hand so that is what we knowing other method gravity separation in that what happens the gravity separation is the method in which the ore is being taken in a stainer and the water is being flown on the metal ore when the water flows on the metal ore then the heavier particles used to flow down along with the water and the lighter particles remain on the stainer in this way by the gravity separation the ore is being separated next method is magnetic separation the word itself says that this is related to magnet so this method is used to separate magnetic substances from non magnetic substances how the magnetic ore is being flown from the cone over here and this is a belt which used to be flow when this tires are moving and this tire is of magnet so when this two rollers are moving the belt is moving and along with the belt the ore is also moving when the ore reaches over here since this roller is magnet so the magnetic substance remain attached with it and the magnetic substance remain attached with it till here and then when the magnet flow removes out then it comes over here in a separate beaker non magnetic substances from here only falls down into the other beaker since they are not attractive towards the magnet so in this way by this magnetic roller the magnetic substances are separated from non magnetic substances after this there is a froth flotation process this process is used for the concentration of sulfide ore it comes in 11th class and the sulfide ore since it is lighter so the sulfide ore is mixed with oil in a beaker in a container and froth is being generated by spinning the wheels so when the spinning of wheel is being done then the froth comes up as sulfide and that froth is being collected at the separate place and the sand particles remain suspended in the beaker now after concentration we get maximum amount of metal in the ore and the sand and dust particles are being removed out so we got the concentrated ore that means the ore which contain high concentration of metal after that step we used to go for the second step step 2 conversion of 
कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड ओर इन टू क्रूड मेटल और इट्स ऑक्साइड सो वॉट एवर मेटल वी आर हैविंग मेटल ओर वी आर हैविंग दैट मेटल ओर इज नाउ कन्वर्टेड टू मेटल ऑक्साइड एज ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ मेटल्स कैन ईजिली बी कन्वर्टेड टू मेटल्स सो वॉट एवर ओर वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम अर्थ क्रस्ट लाइक इफ वी टॉक अबाउट जिंक देन जिंक फ्रॉम द अर्थ क्रस्ट वी गेट एज जिंक सल्फाइड और वी गेट एज जिंक कार्बोनेट सो नाउ द जिंक कार्बोनेट और जिंक सल्फाइड वॉट एवर वी आर हैविंग दैट इज बींग कन्वर्टेड टू ऑक्साइड वाई दिस प्रोसेस इज बींग डन बिकॉज ऑक्साइड्स आर इजिली कन्वर्टेबल टू मेटल्स so whatever the ore we are getting from earth crust either it is carbonate or it is sulfide it is being converted to oxide how the process is being done if the ore present is sulfide then roasting process is being done roasting is what roasting is heating of sulfide ore in presence of excess air okay zinc sulfide ore is being heated in excess amount of air that means excess o2 is being supplied and sulfide ore is being heated when the sulfide ore is heated the zinc sulfide converts to zinc oxide and sulfur dioxide gas is being moved out if we have the ore of carbonate then the process which we use is calcination calcination is the process in which heating of the carbonate ore is done in limited supply of air or we can say no supply of air is there very less amount of oxygen is required in calcination so when zinc carbonate is heated here we are not writing plus o2 because we can neglect o2 means if there is very less or limited or negligible amount of o2 then also the carbonate will convert to oxide so zn co3 zinc carbonate when heated converts to zinc oxide and carbon dioxide gas is being released in the previous video we understood that occurrence of ores how we are getting the ore of metals we are getting the ore of metals like high reactive metals if we talk about like sodium potassium then these metals used to get from earth crust in the form of oxide so they are itself in the form of oxide there is no need of going through this process when we talk about the middle series then the elements which are there in the middle series of the reactivity series they were existing in the form of carbonate and sulfide so if they exist in sulfide form then by the process of roasting they be they will be converted to oxide if they exist in carbonate form then by the process of calcination carbonate is being converted to oxide now moving to the low reactivity series usually low reactive elements like gold or we can talk about mercury they exist in free state as they are less reactive but if we talk about silver or copper they exist in sulfide form so they will go for roasting after step 2 that is conversion of the concentrated ore to oxide we proceed to the next step that is reduction now what is reduction reduction is addition of hydrogen or simply removal of oxygen now from whatever ox ores we are getting from earth crust we have reached to oxide in step 2 now we have to remove oxygen from metal oxide so we will go for reduction reduction is heating of oxide of metals to convert them into metal now in this different reactivity series element has different process of reduction so first we will discuss about extraction of metals of least reactivity that is silver gold mercury and copper now among them mercury and copper only exist as sulfide rest are less reactive so they exist in free state now talking about mercury and copper since they are existing as sulfide so first the mercuric sulfide that is commonly called as cinnabar 
is being treated with oxygen to convert into oxide this process is called as roasting we have already discussed it conversion of sulfide ore with maximum supply of oxygen to oxide is called as roasting after getting the oxide of mercury we used to go for next technique that is reduction so heating of this mercuric oxide is being done when heating is being done then it releases o2 gas and we get the pure metal mercury now in case of copper copper exists in the form of copper sulfide in the earth crust which is commonly called as copper glands so copper sulfide since it is sulfide we will go for roasting roasting is heating of sulfide ore in presence of air so when copper sulfide is heated in presence of air we are getting copper and sulfur dioxide now copper here we are getting as a pure metal if some more amount of copper oxide we used to treat with copper sulfide then also we can get pure metal that is copper so in this way least reactive elements we are getting their pure form over here now after least reactive elements we are going to extract middle reactive elements that means the elements which are middle in the reactivity series from their ores and these are iron zinc and lead now usually these ores are existing as carbonate or sulfide now we know that if we have carbonate or if we have sulfide then for carbonate we undergo calcination and get the oxide like if we have zinc carbonate then the zinc carbonate is heated like if we have zinc carbonate then the zinc carbonate is heated to get zinc oxide and co2 gas is being released and this process is called as calcination similarly if we have sulfide then in presence of air it is heated to get oxide and this process is called as roasting so after roasting or calcination we get oxide so now we have to undergo reduction reduction that means we have to add reducing agent to the oxide so here for reducing zinc oxide we are adding carbon so carbon is a reducing agent it is going to remove the oxygen from zinc oxide as co carbon monoxide and the zinc metal will get formed similarly if we have iron oxide that is commonly called as hematite is treated with carbon since it is a reducing agent it will remove oxygen from iron oxide and the iron will get free and we get carbon dioxide so by the reduction that is by treating with carbon two oxides we are getting the pure metal similarly if we have lead oxide then by treating with carbon the carbon has come out with co2 and lead is free over here now in place of carbon aluminum can also be used to convert metal oxide to metal reduction of metal oxide by heating with aluminum since aluminum is also a reducing agent so if we have manganese oxide treating with aluminum it gives pure manganese manganese it gives pure manganese and aluminum oxide is being released similarly if we have copper oxide then by treating with aluminum we get pure copper and aluminum oxide is being released with heat now this is a specific naming reaction iron oxide fe2o3 when treated with aluminum that is a reducing agent gives iron fe plus al2o3 aluminum oxide plus heat and the reaction is called as thermite reaction since heating is being done and lo lot of heat is being released in it now see this process is used in welding iron oxide usually we see that the iron 
utensils or iron usually we see that if the iron things have cracks in between then the particular part becomes brown in color that means that rust has taken place so rust is generally iron oxide fe2o3 now what is being done is the aluminum liquid form is being poured into the iron oxide and heat is being supplied so when the heat is being supplied these two get melted and mixed together to form iron so that part becomes welded and we get aluminum oxide over there as a powder in this way the welding of the cracked part of iron is being done after reduction of middle reactive elements we used to go for extraction of metals of high reactivity so in the reactivity series the high reactive elements are sodium calcium magnesium and aluminum usually these elements exist in the form of oxide or in the form of salt if they exist in the form of oxide then by the reduction that is by treating with carbon or by treating with aluminum we can get the pure metal but if in case we are having the salt of these metals then we undergoes electrolysis that is by electrolytic reduction electric current is passed through the molten state molten that means the melted form of the salt of metal ores metals being positively charged is deposited at cathode cathode is a negatively charged electrode so in the beaker sodium chloride suppose if we consider the example then the molten form or the aqueous form of sodium chloride is taken in a beaker and electricity is passed so when electricity will get passed into the solution the na plus and cl minus will liberate and so when electricity will passed into the solution NaCl will liberate Na plus and Cl minus ions. Na plus, since it is positively charged ion, it will move towards the negative electrode cathode and gain electron and form sodium atom. Similarly, chlorine is a negatively charged ion which loses electron and forms chlorine atom, and two chlorine atoms combine together to form chlorine gas. so the overall reaction taking place is 2 nacl converts with the help of electricity it converts to 2 na that is pure metal sodium and chlorine gas is being liberated in this way high reactive elements from their salt by electrolytic reduction we are getting their pure form of metal after the process of reduction usually we are getting pure metal but if in case we are not getting pure metal still some impurities are left behind then the step 4 is used that is refining or purification of metal and the process is electrolysis here in this process whatever metal you have to get pure in form the impure rod and the pure metal rod is being taken if suppose i have to pure the copper rod so this is impure rod which is being connected with the positive terminal named as anode and the pure metal rod is being connected with a negative terminal that is cathode and the solution which is taken as an electrolyte over here which helps to flow the electricity is the metal salt solution like here i am having copper rod so i will have the copper salt like copper sulfate i can have now when the electricity start flowing into the rod then this impure rod contains copper that copper loses two electrons and forms cu plus 2 here two electrons are being lost away and along with it impurities are also being lost by the impure rod so when the impurities are being lost by the impure rod that impurity is settled down and that is called as anode mud since the impurities are settling at the anode terminal so therefore it is called as anode mud now this 
impure rod copper is converted to Cu plus 2. Since this is positively charged, it will move towards the negatively charged electrode that is cathode. So, Cu plus 2 from the impure rod is going to the pure rod. Now, when, when this Cu plus 2 is going to the cathode, there since cathode is negatively charged, it will gain electron and forms Cu that is pure copper. And soon after the reaction is going to get over, you will see that the impure rod will become thin and the pure rod will become thick. And by this, we have completed today's topic that is extraction of metals from their ores. Now, in the next video, I am going to come to you with a new topic that is corrosion and alloys. Till then, goodbye. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more. 